Hi, I'm Teresa Camatomo. My husband Mark and I are members of Moran United Methodist Church, and we sure miss seeing you all. Um, Pastor Cody asked if I would talk about why, what, why and how we uh, became members here. So a few years ago, we were looking for a church that offered a Christmas service that we could bring our family to. We'd driven by this church quite often coming from the grocery store and I always thought it looked like a really cute and welcoming church. So I called and I talked with Jane and she was very welcoming and um, we talked for quite a while and she asked what my last name was. So I told her and she said, oh, do you have family here? And I said, no, I don't. And then I realized I had given her my husband's last name and it turned out she was the music teacher for my um, two stepkids. So anyway, we came for the Christmas service and loved it. Came, I think it was a following Sunday service, and um, it was a relaxed service where everybody sang Christmas carols. And everybody was so welcoming and lovely and inclusive that um, we knew this is where we wanted to be. Um, what we appreciate about the church to this day is the inclusiveness, how we are all part of a family and care truly for one another and uh, look out for one another and when we know somebody needs help that we're there whether it's spoken or unspoken um, everybody is so sincere and getting to see everybody on Sundays when it's the normal times um, it's really great to get together again and see uh, Donna Hauser's new outfits every Sunday I'm missing that <laughs> so anyway um, we really feel that the people here, again, that genuinely, genuinely care for everybody, um, each other, that it's a consistent, it's not just putting on a show on Sunday, but it's a consistent um, climate of caring and family and inclusiveness, a great place for the community to be. Um, whether they just are here one weekend or not, I feel like if somebody shows up, couple weeks out they're welcome not judged um, we have the other thing I love is our potlucks how we grow you know gather as a community our Lenten series Christmas series um, our fall festivals I think people are yearning for those kind of family traditional things that um, kind of get lost in the fast-paced society that we have um, I know now is the stewardship drive I'm not sure if I'm saying that the right thing and why we feel it's important financially to tithe to our church or this church is that we can preserve our church family here have a place to worship and gather um, to have our old building continue to be loved and maintained I know it costs money to have the power and the snow removed, I mean, all the little things that we don't think of and take for granted. And um, it's also God's will that we tithe where we are being fed. And I feel like um, Pastor Cody's done a great job during this time to continue to feed us and do what he can, you know, for the, um, for the word and keeping us all included and cohesive. So... That is why we love our church and we're really looking forward to the time that we can all be together again. Everybody stay safe and well and we'll be through this soon. I just feel it.